Okay, this is the tracing procedures for Jan Richardson's Next Steps in Guided Reading. The tracing procedures are recommended for kiddos who know fewer than 10 letters. This is not an instructional practice that you would use during guided reading. This is something you would use to supplement their letter learning experiences that happen during guided reading and literacy workstations. Jan Richardson encourages you to use someone like a, a paraprofessional or maybe a parent volunteer to do this work. On page 30 of the 2016 edition of her text, she describes um, the procedures for this tracing um, experience. Basically, the, you want kids to be tracing letters that they already know. So you're using your letter identification test to determine which letters they know, and then reviewing those particular elements. Um, you'll want to make sure that your uh, parent volunteer understands the procedures this is very much like Orton Gillingham cards in that we are going to pair the name of the letter with some formation and also the sound of the letter. So um, on your on this module, um, you'll see a link that you could use to print out these cards. Basically, the tracing book looks a little like this, and I've got a card in the notebook for each letter of the alphabet. I've gone ahead and put a red dot for the initial position um, on forming these letters because that'll be part of the practice. All right, so to practice a letter, these would not be out of the book. I just can't get my book underneath my um, handy dandy frame here. So this is an adaptation. Your letters would be in a notebook. Um, okay, and then you're gonna teach the child to review the letters they know like this, H, H, hat. So that's a similar process to what we did with Orton Gillingham cards. H, hat, right? But we're adding into this the formation of that letter. Now, kids may know this name of this letter, but not know how to form it or the sound. So this array gives us an opportunity to practice all three dimensions of alphabetic principle. Children may not be able to form this letter on their own, and if that's the case, you're just gonna do the old hand over hand to help them form it. And over time, you'll feel that they need less of your hand guiding them. Um, and when you feel that, you just provide less hand over hand. Again, it goes H, H, hat, H. If the child can't remember the name of that letter, you provide it. Make sure you remind them of the starting position, and if they need support, you just give them the hand over hand, okay? This is the tracing book. If you look on page, um, it's 31 in the 2016 edition of the Next Steps Forward and Guided Reading Text, but there's a nice description of the research that's been done on this tracing, um, tracing technique. Um, it is a really nice way to add some support, so to differentiate your instruction beyond the differentiation that's available in the guided reading lesson, so that those kiddos who need the most alphabet practice can get it and not necessarily need uh, the teacher's instructional time. That is the tracing book. Thank you.